Welcome to this video on using the desktop class in Java. My name's Andy Wicks and in this video I'm going to show you the three main uses of the desktop class. To open a text editor, to open a browser and to open your email program. Let's start with the first one. I'm assuming that you've seen the previous video on how to set up a button bar and you'll know that we capture button events in the action performed method. In there we need to start with if desktop is desktop supported to check whether your particular operating system supports the desktop class. Some don't. Not many, but some don't. Now if it is supported then we instantiate the desktop class and I'm calling that object desktop. Now we can get down to checking which button was pressed. In the code we would have three of these particular blocks. In this case if e.getSource is equal to notepad, notepad is the name of the button that I clicked to get to this position. So if it is notepad we're going to do a try catch. It's always a good idea to use try catch just in case something goes wrong. We're going to call desktop dot edit. Desktop dot edit opens notepad in Windows systems. It's going to open a file called desktopcode.txt. New file merely says that it's a new object of the file type, not that it's a new file completely. Desktopcode.txt lives in the root directory for this project, but if you're wanting to open a text file in a different directory, then just use the path to that particular program. If something goes wrong, we're going to hit, hit the catch. And this is just there, just in case. It'll just tell us what the error was. I'm going to close the notepad and show you what happens with the next section of code. This code opens the browser. In my case, it's opening it at http colon forward slash forward slash www.o-vl.com, an excellent site. You'll notice that the code looks exactly the same as in the previous example. The only difference is that we're now going to use dot browse new URI. Again, this is not setting up a new resource indicator, it's merely instantiating a new resource indicator given this address. When it does that, it opens that particular address in your default browser. My default browser is Chrome, so it opened it in that. The final task is email. However, I don't use Microsoft Outlook, which is the default browser for email in my system. So I'm going to cancel that and just talk you through the one change in the code. You'll notice it's desktop.mail new URI again, but this time it's mail to and the name of the person to whom you're trying to send the email. Their email address will appear up there and now your email program will be starting an email to that particular email address. It's all quite simple really. Again we've got a catch just in case, but those are the three main tasks. Open a text editor, open a browser and open your email program. 